What's up everybody, Steve here. I just read an article from floridarealtors.org. I'll put the, put the link down for the full article so you guys can review it, but I am just astonished what people are doing right now in terms of applying for adjustable rate mortgages. Let me explain further because if you guys are at all interested in financing a property with an adjustable rate mortgage, I highly encourage you to second guess yourself based on what I'm going to talk about. Now this article's headline is Adjustable Rate Mortgages Staging a Comeback. Um, it goes to say, adjustable rate mortgages dropped in popularity after the 2008 financial crisis, but they're starting to reemerge as buyers contend with record high home prices. Now, I went through that real estate market in 2008 and a lot of people did these. They even did negative amortization loans, which I'll do a whole other video on. And, and the, these loans are just bad. And I'm gonna talk more about why they're so bad. Uh, it goes on to say, the epic surge in home prices has people looking to save money on monthly payments anywhere they can. Applications for ARMS, adjustable rate mortgages, were up 12.5% year to year for the week ending June 18th, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association. With an arm, buyers usually get a lower mortgage rate. In exchange, however, they also agree that the rate could go up or down after a set number of years, usually five or 10. If national mortgage rates go up in that time, they'll likely face higher mortgage payments, obviously. Given today's historical low mortgage rates, that means today's borrowers will be paying more when their loan adjusts at some future date. Now, a simple question that you gotta ask yourself is, do you think interest rates are gonna go up or down in the future, especially over a three, five, seven, 10 year period? Do you think interest rates are gonna go up or down? Now, if you're gonna say they're gonna go down, I'll probably disagree with you. If you think that they're gonna go up, ding, ding, I think you're gonna be right. And that is, if you have an adjustable rate mortgage, that is gonna be tied to the index and it's gonna increase. So your monthly payments are going to increase. It goes on to say, some borrowers may think they'll refinance to a fixed rate mortgage or move before the loan adjusts. Here's the problem with this. And this is the big problem. People that are doing these loans are gonna get them in, they're gonna get into so much shit that it's gonna ruin themselves financially in my prediction. So they think, okay, I'm gonna get an adjustable rate mortgage. It's lower than a 30 year fix right now. So I'm saving a little bit of money on that. The payment's not as high and I can afford it. However, let's say three years down the road, you know, they get a mortgage and that mortgage say equals the home value. So let's say it's a $500,000 mortgage that they got on the property. But let's say three years down the road, the real estate market goes down. I think it's going to go down. If it does, if the real estate market goes down, what happens? This person, let's say the, the loan comes due or the rates go up tremendously and they were paying say less than 3% and now they're paying seven, eight, nine percent overnight. And that's exactly what happened in 2008. Let's say that happens. They're going to go, wow, I got to get the hell out of this loan. And what are their options? They're, they really have three options. The first one, is to refinance, but they can't refinance if they're upside down on the loan. Then they'll have to come to the table with additional money down to offset that balance if the market does go down. And the market will go down if interest rates go higher. The second thing that they can do is pay off the loan in full. So they'd have to have that $500,000 to pay off the loan in full and go their separate ways. The third thing is they would have to list the property on the open market and sell it but if they own five, owe $500,000 for the property and now that property is worth $400,000 plus all closing costs and everything else, they might be upside down of $150,000 that they would have to come to the table at closing. So it goes on to say, for still others, the lower rate offered via an arm may be their only option if they want to buy rather than rent. Look, if you're in this predicament and the interest rate's a little bit lower to go into an adjustable rate as opposed to 30 year fixed, 
and you can't afford the 30 year fix, but you can afford the adjustable rate, don't do it. All right, it goes on to say the average rate for a five year hybrid adjustable rate mortgage was 2.54% for the week ending July 1st, according to Freddie Mac. The average rate for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage was 2.98%. Look, the difference between 2.54 and 2.98 is not that significant. So there, I don't see any reason why somebody would go for an adjustable rate mortgage. And if, if that makes or breaks it, again, rent or find a property that's less expensive. I appreciate you guys watching and be sure to check out this next video on how I break down how you guys can pay off your mortgage in less than four years. I'll see you guys there.